My name's Alan Hart and today I'm going to do some combi boiler reviews. On the left here we've got the Ideal Max, so that's the Ideal Logic Max combi boiler. And on the right here we've got the new Baxi 800 combi boiler. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at both boilers, show the features and benefits of both boilers and let's see which one we think's best. So first of all, if we compare the size of both boilers, there's not that much in it at all. The the Baxi, the Baxi 800 is well, I think they're I think they're almost identical. To be honest, the front of it looks a bit lower, but there's not much in it. And if we look at side, again, there's not much in it. The both cupboard fit boilers. If we look at the measurement of the side of the boiler, you're looking roughly about 285 millimetres, just over 11 inches on the side. We'll have a look at the height now. If we look at the height, we're looking roughly 700, 700 millimetres, 70 centimetres, or around just over 27 and a half inches. If we look at the top of both boilers, we can see the Baxi. With the Baxi, you can put the pipes up the back and the boiler is still cupboard fit. With the idea of logic, you would need a standoff bracket and that would bring the boiler out about 50 millimeters. And then that would no longer be a cupboard fit boiler. So just to have a look on the back of the Baxi 800, we can see there's lots of space to take all your pipes up the back. Both these boilers come with a 10 year parts and labour warranty, as long as you have the boiler serviced. So you need to make sure you maintain the boiler and have it serviced, and then you will have a 10 year parts and labour warranty. Both boilers come with a filter. The, the Ideal come with an Omega filter or a brass filter. And the, the Baxi, the Baxi 800 comes with a AD filter, which is a plastic filter. Um, if we look at the boilers, if we look at the outputs, the output from the Ideologic Max, 24 gives you 9.9 .9 litres a minute, 30 gives you 12.4, 35 kilowatt gives you 14.5 litres a minute, and that's at a 35 degree rise. The, the Baxi gives you, the Baxi comes in a 25 kilowatt, which is 10.2 litres per minute. It comes in a 30, which is 12.2 litres per minute. And it also comes in a 36 kilowatt, which is 15 litres per minute. So the Baxi gets the edge slightly on the 24 and the 36 kilowatt and the Ideologic Max gets the edge slightly on the 30 kilowatt boiler, but I would say that they're, they're more or less the same really. So both boilers will give you similar outputs for your hot water. If we look at the Logic, so this is the Ideologic Max. We've got the pressure gauge, which is nice and big, which is on the front. We've got the hot water temperature that we can adjust. We've got the front display. The front display on this boiler is, is very nice and it's got a lot of different options in there. We've got the central heating and then we've got the mode. So you can turn the boiler off, you can have it on hot water only or you can have it on hot water and heating on there. If we pull the front, front flap down, this pull out here can also be used to put an inbuilt timer or clock. If we look at the Baxi, so this is the Baxi 800, the front display is very simple and, and fairly basic. So you've got heating, temperature up and down for your heating. You've got your display, which only really tells you faults. So we've got a 118 fault on that at the moment. This boiler is not piped up, so it's got low pressure fault code. So it's good for the fault codes. Then we've got the temperature of the hot water so let's have a look inside the boiler now 
Both of these boilers have two screws underneath and the logic has a little clip on each side and then you can pull that off. The back say again two screws, one there and one there and you can lift the front off. So if we lift the front off on both boilers on the front of the ideal that's it's plastic so for a gas engineer you won't be able to stick your analyzer to it um, if your analyzer's um, got a magnet on it this one's metal so the the Baxi 800 is a, is a metal front so let's have a look inside if we have a look inside both boilers the idea logic max just clips down nice and easy and the Baxi 800 also pulls down nice and easy if we start at the bottom Grunfoss pump so in the idea logic it's got a 1570 pump again in the Baxi the Baxi's got a Grunfoss pump as well and the Baxi's got a 1560 pump and if we have a look inside the Baxi the components are brass which are proven really because they've been in the Baxi Platinum for, for many years so they're proven to be reliable if we look in the logic the parts are plastic in the bottom and the plastic parts are made by Grunfoss Ideal say that the plastic is more reliable if we have a look at the top they've both got the expansion vessels the Ideal Logic the Schroeder valves on the front nice and easy to get onto for servicing if we have a look on the back C800 the Schroeder valve is on the top so again nice and easy to work on for servicing the back C the back C800 has got a stainless steel heat exchanger which you can never go wrong with a stainless steel heat exchanger the Ideologic Max has got an aluminium heat exchanger So what do we think? Which boiler is best? What I'd ask is if you can put your comments below and let me know what you think about these boilers and which one you believe is best. Um, my opinion, I think both boilers are very, very nice boilers. They're both easy to install. The, the ideal logic has the edge on the front display for sure because that gives um, more feedback for the engineer when you're working on it and the back safe front display is more basic so for a customer that's probably all you need anyway really to be honest but if I were to choose one to install I would probably go for the back C800 mainly because of the heat exchanger the stainless steel heat exchanger for me gives it the edge if you find my videos useful please subscribe I'll put a link just up here I'll also add some a link here and down here to some other videos as well thank you for watching